the air-cooled modular chiller made by Samsung. The last few days, I've actually been piping in a storage tank that I'm going to use to hold chilled water. The Samsung chiller actually will do hot water and it'll do chilled water. I'm gonna use it mainly to store cold water so that I can cool the dryer that we're gonna use for our processing services this year at Electric Farm. But I wanna show you the Samsung chiller and I wanna to talk to you about it. This right here is the pump uh, from the chiller to the storage tank and I've got a pump that's gonna go from the storage tank to my skid pump. But let's go outside, let's take a look at the Samsung chiller and I wanna to talk to you too about a few things. I didn't know anything about this Samsung uh, modular chiller before I started installing it, okay? I actually learned everything in the last month um, prior to the installation. Um, so I want you to know that just because you think you can't do something, um, it definitely, uh, it doesn't mean that you, you can't because you probably can, you just gotta try. And, um, to tell you the truth, guys, um, I actually can't get support from Samsung on this chiller. And the reason I can't is because I haven't been through their formal training for it. But the truth is, is I'm busy, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm trying to build a business and make this thing run. And I want to use Samsung because I've been installing Samsung equipment for so long. Ductless mini splits mainly, and then commercial DVM heat pumps. Let's go take a look at the chiller. And I want to tell you also that if there's 10 people if 10 of you um, want to have training on Samsung, I can actually get it for free. It's, it, basically, Samsung offers me training $1,500 a day if I get 10 different people who are interested in it. But the truth is, I can't find that many people. Um, usually, people want to make money before they receive training, and that's not the way things work. you got to be trained before you can actually install this stuff. This right here is the heat pump chiller. It's got an air side heat exchanger. It's got an air side heat exchanger. It's got a couple braised plate heat exchangers inside down here. This is the this is the hydro controller box. Uh, controls the water side. This right here is the inverter control box. Uh, these are the inverters that control the two VLDC scroll compressors that go from 20 hertz all the way up to 160. They modulate capacity based off the demand. Now. This unit is 10 tons. Um, it can do cold water or hot water. And basically it's piped into my storage tank. It's like I've got 75 pounds of pressure. Really cold. I gotta actually insulate these lines for too long. But it looks like it's working out pretty well. Guys, I just want to show you a first look at the DVM chiller. Uh, it's a lot more efficient than your conventional um, water-cooled chillers. Uh, being that it's air-cooled, it, it can actually be installed and configured into modules, and it can be for applications from residential, commercial, institutional facilities, and all the way to industrial. Um, I can actually, you can make quite a, quite a few hundred tons with uh, a lot of these modules put together. Um, so anyways, guys, if you have any more questions about Samsung and DVM air-cooled modular chillers, please look at the link in the description that I'm going to put down below and just comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, guys.